Hi, this is Techie DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to mount a soundbar on top of a television just like this. I'm going to use aluminium angle for the soundbar brackets. This is 20mm squared. You can buy this in DIY stores easily. It comes in one or two meter length and it's pretty strong and lightweight. First thing to do is find out what mounting options are on the back of the soundbar. There's a Panasonic soundbar and that's uh, two threaded inserts on the back there. And uh, these take M4, M4 bolts. They were included with the actual kit. So looking at the back of the television, we've got the Visa mount holes. Um, in this case, on this Panasonic TV, it's got uh, blanking plugs in place. And once they're removed, it reveals an insert, a threaded insert. In this case, it's M6. It's the size of the thread. And uh, what we need to do is find out the maximum length of the uh, the bolt that you can insert into that threaded insert. Uh, if it's too long, there's a risk that you might damage the television. So it's important to look up the the specification for the make and model of the television that you're trying to uh, uh, mount the bar onto. So getting somebody to hold the sound bar in place, you want to measure the distance between the Visa mounting hole on the back of the television and the mounting hole on the actual sound bar. So that's about uh, 15 centimeters. So I think if I cut a length of angle around about 25 centimeters, that would be more than enough. So I'm just going to measure off two lengths of uh, angle at 25 centimeters each. I'll cut these to length for my chop saw, but you can use a hacksaw obviously. I'm going to make the hole in the uh, in the bracket for the sound bar. So I've measured 25 millimeters down from the top and halfway across. I'm just going to mark that position with a centre punch. And I'm actually going to make the hole using this rather useful tool, which is a hole punch. Obviously, you can drill the hole instead. Now I've got the soundbar just resting on the top of the television, and I've got the bracket screwed into the back of the soundbar. And I'm just going to mark the position of the uh, mount on the back of the TV on the actual bracket. Now to try the first bracket, so I'm going to put the mounting screw for the soundbar through the bracket. I'm going to put facing washer behind. into the actual bracket, into the sound bar, sorry. Snip that up just so that we can still turn it. I'm going to put a washer behind bracket here as well, where we mount it into the television to give it some clearance. I'm using hex head bolts. So, use an Allen key to turn that tight. I'm going to nip that up. That's nice and solid, that's worked really well. I'm just going to remove this uh, top edge from the top of the bracket so that it doesn't uh, stick up above the sound bar.
that's the uh, sound bar brackets completed all bolted up that's the view from the front